door and you will go right to that book that you need and you will open up the page to page 75 and there will be the exact information that that you will need so once you take that first step and that's what happened to me is when i when i took that first step it's like the it's like the floodgates opened up of the information exactly the the, the floodgates opened up um so that's the first thing is, is to seek knowledge now where where to seek knowledge well the the internet uh, cyberspace has a has a wealth of information what happens right now currently and, and I'm so thankful to God for programs for public broadcasting programs that allow alternative views yeah. to be put on the air what happens now is that we have uh, official sources of information uh, when when a new drug comes out. Well, I remember when the, f the first time I saw Vioxx on CNN and there was there was this medical doctor that was sitting there and that was recommending this this new drug that he had never taken and probably never would take uh, to all of the millions of people out there. And but we didn't hear any other opposing viewpoints. Do you remember Oppose, remember, remember the concept of opposing viewpoints when on national TV they would actually have someone come on there and have one viewpoint and then they'd switch over there and have someone else have an opposing viewpoint? It, it's, been elim it's been virtually eliminated except maybe on, maybe on uh, Fox News where, you know, that's kind of a, you know, that situation is kind of hokey in terms of their opposing viewpoints. But, but look, seek what I call 360 degree information. If somebody tells you this, then make sure that you actually go and and verify that. Is there any 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 opposing viewpoints? Um, I, I, I like Google um, to, to search out information. Natural cures. For, just type in natural cures for cancer and see what comes up. Uh, there was a doctor by the name of Royal Rife. He lived in the early 1900s. And Dr. Reif actually cured hundreds and hundreds of patients of cancer by, by natural means. Um, what happens, the, the, the medical industry uh, found out about this, and because he was curing them for literally less than $100, they saw, a, they saw it as a threat to their huge, huge financial establishment the money that they were they were making off of patients getting cancer so they they basically essentially discredited him um, lost his job and and everything and, and his technology had gotten lost for for almost 50 or 60 years but it's coming back and you can actually learn do, do a search on dr. Royal Rife and it will tell you exactly you know what his methods are for getting healed for for cancer now what now what is cancer uh, cancer is something that seems like this huge monster, but if you look at what cancer is, it's not really that big of a deal. A, a cancerous cell is a, is a cell that is without oxygen. So if you are actually able to get oxygen into that cell, that no cancer. Exactly, exactly. So it's it's a simple, but but what happens with uh, the, the American Cancer Society was set up in the 1960s, and they it says in their charter if when we find a cure for cancer that we must disband so guess if they disband guess how many salaries of hundreds of thousands of dollars would be lost so there is no incentive for the medical industry the american cancer society to find a cure for cancer because it's literally I a trillion so grateful to god industry. there is so much we haven't even begun to know all the wonderful things that we can do for ourselves isn't it wonderful but i want to tell you here today in lay terms what i do know and there's many things that you touched on uh, that i was listening carefully in my own life that i know that i had suffered with terribly such as depression a debilitating can, uh, clinical depression that I myself many years ago that led me to a very high spiritual point where I am open to many different things that we have to experiment to understand what works. What I do know is prayer works, meditation on the Bible works. Also, you must 
take it seriously, avoid all white bleached sugars and flours. You must stay away if you can, and I know many of our people were very heavy into porks and red meats. We've come up on it, but let me tell you something. When you start eating vegetables and the whole grain foods that this body needs to be able to think even, to get those electrodes in the brain in the right place, to give us the energy to take in this information that you're sharing. Because let me tell you something, if you're not eating right, you can't sleep right. If you're not exercising and taking a walk and taking in oxygen, whatever condition it's in, you won't sleep right. You won't even be able to take in this information today that Constance Taylor from Detroit, Michigan is sharing with us. We love you and we appreciate you so much. We hope what we shared with you today will help you live a better life. But most of all, we need you to read the Bible, understand that this comes to you with love. Take in what you're able to, but then take on the task of finding out if there was anything you didn't understand we spoke about today by getting in touch with Move of God today or with, and I got to say, minister, because he loves you so much to come all this way and share this inspiration for you. This is a man of God, Constant Taylor. And we, we send love to your mother. We send love to your mother, Gladys. And, and she is a dear heart, a dear soul. And uh, I want to encourage you also to get prayer. But most of all, you must attend church, and you must be with the saints. If we didn't take time to be together, I wouldn't have found out all these great things today. But there's a blessing waiting for you. So, as we always say, we can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. We leave you with this today. Enjoy. We'd like to hear from you, whatever you think. Drop us a line or give us a call at the number at the bottom of your screen. God bless you. Till next time. Thank you.